You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. Throw a tantrum. Tyler helps. Hello. I'm H.G. Tudor. Raven Saund writes in the mail. Tyler Perry says this one's wife treated him like a therapist when she reached out for help after she and Prince Harry quit the royal family as he reveals how happy they were while hiding out at his $18 million mansion. Well, yes, I should imagine that someone would be rather happy hiding out in an $18 million mansion. After all, those families that had to flee Ukraine when Russia invaded weren't extended the same level of hospitality so that they could suddenly find themselves flown by private jet to the other side of the world to be away from the marauding advances of the Russian army. Instead, they had to make dangerous trips, fleeing from the advancing troops to go to other places. They were not afforded such an opportunity to escape and live in luxury. The individuals that find themselves fleeing from other war-torn areas or places where famine has struck often face lengthy journeys, often on foot, with very little in the way of possessions, material comforts and food, not for them the opportunity to whinge about an institution and then say, hmm, didn't like it, throwing my rattle out of the pram and stamping my cloven hoof, who's going to help me out? And Tyler Perry comes to the rescue. It really does show the pathetic nature of this one's wife, that she believes that the fact that she didn't get her own way with the royal family amounts to such a personal trauma that she would have to speak to Tyler Perry in a manner by which he acted as a therapist. The article explains, Tyler Perry has claimed that this one's wife used him like a therapist, oh, didums, as he opened up about the extreme measures he took to shield her and Prince Harry in his home. Shield them from what? Incoming missiles? No. Marauding mercenaries with AK-47s? Looking to rape and pillage? No. Oh, you mean some people perhaps wanting to take photographs of them and tell them, no, you can't do it this way. Ooh, what a hardship. The 54-year-old sat down with Kelly Riper on a recent episode of her Let's Talk Off Camera podcast on Sirius XM. He explained how he first reached out to mom of two, this one's wife, with a note that offered his support before their friendship blossomed. Perry then famously offered several major assists to the couple when they settled into their lives in America and was later named as Lilibet Diana's godfather. Speaking about the couple, Perry began by explaining how everything is still larger than life for them. Oh, so brave, so stunning. They've done so well, haven't they? Brave, brave Harry, having a life of privilege and servants and being allowed to more or less do what he wants. And this one's wife, how awful. Coming from a mundane background and marrying into all of that privilege, getting yourself on the world stage, mm, larger than life, so difficult to deal with. However have they managed to cope, we really ought to create a national day off for everybody around the world to salute their bravery in the face of such adversity. Everywhere she goes or whatever she does, or she puts on something, it sells out. Really? There are paparazzi in the corners, he added. Yes, Tyler, there are paparazzi in the corners because she rings them up. Are you really telling me that paparazzi hang out at Santa Barbara Airport on the off chance of spotting her, or just happen to be hanging around a farmer's market, or outside a dentist? Of course fucking not. We all know that they hang out in Los Angeles, and not in Monte Shitcho or Santa Barbara. They're there because she calls them. Come on, man. Don't be so naive. The billionaire filmmaker continued, I just wanted to be a safe place, not only for her, but you know, there are many people who don't have a name, who are not a part of a royal family, who just need somebody to be for there for them. So I sent her a note. 
Well, that appears on the face of it to be rather kind-hearted of you, Tyler. Uh, but wouldn't you have been better served peeping, helping people out who actually needed help? You know, the damaged and the dispossessed, not a pair of overprivileged tosspots who whine about the fact that they didn't get their own way. Perry continues, Everybody thought Oprah introduced us, but Oprah didn't even know that I reached out to them. Perry revealed that the duo had previously shared the same publicist whom he used to deliver the message. I sent them a note and just said, If you ever need anything, I'm here. And she called months later and just talked to me like I was a therapist and we just had a great conversation. It is very important for people in this business to have a safe place to land. Oh, fuck off. To have a place where they can trust and talk freely and get advice that's not going to be biased or from somebody who wants something from them. Elaborating further about his friendship with the royal couple, the Hollywood Titan explained, They hid out at my house for a long time. It was so great. Every day, every day that they were there, I looked to see if anything's happening online. Nothing. They don't even know. So weeks and weeks they were there. They were so happy. It was such a beautiful moment. Mm. Although, Tyler, you don't seem to mention the fact that in the end you had to kick them out because of the way they treated your staff. Perry offered them his $18 million Beverly Hills home to use as their personal residence after the couple stepped down as senior royals. This one's wife and Harry, along with their one their then one-year-old son, Archie, stayed at the eight-bedroom, 12-bathroom... What is it with this having more bathrooms than bedrooms business? Tuscan-style villa for several months in 2020. The sprawling 22-acre estate is set in the ultra-exclusive Beverly Ridge Estates guard-gated community, offering sweeping views of the city from the backyard. It is from there that the duo celebrated Archie's first birthday, as they shared tiny glimpses of the home while appearing on video chats and in social media clips throughout their stay. Yes, because they need such privacy. During a previous interview with The Cut, this one's wife, now <clears throat> 42, spoke out about her bond with Tyler, explaining that he got in touch with her after she first wed Harry, 39, in 2018. She explained that he told her that he was praying for her and that he understood the intense pressure she was under. Yes, very difficult, isn't it? That intense pressure of being ferried around everywhere by car, having people organise your clothing for you, organising your office, people arranging your appearances. Mmm, such pressure. Gosh, how could anybody hope to cope in such a hothouse environment? She's so brave. She really is. According to this one's wife, Perry also told her that if she ever needed advice, she could reach out to him. So she did. She soon began to open up to him about her struggles. With what? Wondering which outfit to wear, what colour bronzer to use, and the two grew close, despite them never even meeting in person. I think Tyler's got a bit of a crush here. Sometimes you can tell your life story to a stranger on a plane lack of boundary recognition, as opposed to some of the people that you are closest to, she told the cut. According to the outlet, Perry offered his home to the pair because in many ways the reason that this one's wife and Harry started their new life in Southern California. He was later named godfather to Little Bit Diana, now too, which you told us earlier on Daily Mail. I don't know why you're repeating that. So there you have it. Next time you have a tantrum about things not going your way, a billionaire is bound to pop up and say, do you want to come and live in one of my houses for a few weeks so you can be happy there and remove yourself from all of the pressure you're feeling because someone said no to you? Essentially, that's what's happened. This one's wife's sense of entitlement reacted badly to the royal family telling her you can't do things this way. Thus, she had a paddy whack, and as a part of that tantrum retreated in order to assert control and found herself on the very generous receiving end of an offer from Tyler Perry. This really smacks of first world problems. A woman living in privilege doesn't get her own way and billionaire bails her out. Absolute cod swallop. But to be expected that it would be a whinge fest again playing the victim card as always by this one's wife. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.